the three inch stay tight goody tortoise faux tortoise look like this if you find them big money hey bubble buddies thanks for watching Amazing, right? All right, let's starting over. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my big money Bolos items that I picked up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, and I sold them for big profits on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully, when you're outsourcing, you can find these items. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And I also have a series on my bread and butter Bolos. Those are items that I sold for $35 or less that are easier to find. So definitely go check out those videos as well. And let's get started here with the first item. The first item is this lot of earrings. They are vintage to now. Um, I bought these in a big lot of a bulk buy. So I was being lazy and I decided to just list them like this. I do have other listings like this. Um, most of them have sold, but I think there's still some left. But definitely could have parted this out and made a lot more money. But I took the easy road, took a best offer of $50 on these. And the buyer was all in for $63.83 for 48 pair of earrings. So they are definitely going to make a profit. The next item here are these calico critters. If you can find the ones that are retired or vintage, they are a big money bolo. I actually sold these uh, raccoon family. They're the mulberry raccoon family. I used Google Lens to figure that out. And I took a best offer of $50 for these. I got these at an estate sale and a bag of toys. My cost of goods was about 50 cents for this by the time I parted it all, parted it all out. The next item is this vintage miniature dollhouse porcelain grandma figure. If you watched my um, garage sale video, you saw me source this. Super excited about this. I also sold another one for big bucks. I'm not sure if I talk about that one in this video or the next video. But this sold for $99.99 on auction plus shipping. She's fantastic. I mean, look at her. She is so cool. Um, these dollhouse figures, if they're the artists and made, uh, they can go for big money. So be on the lookout for sure. And I had about a dollar in her. Um, I picked up a handful of the dolls and asked them how much. And I think I paid $6 for all of them. So... I I want to say I had five or six listings out of that. So did pretty well. These also came from a, actually these came from a garage sale. I also have a video when I found these and it was um, one of those uh, boxes, like a Barbie box or a Topper Dawn box. And it had all of this in it. And again, I probably could have parted it out and done better. But the dolls, they were just in okay condition. Everything was kind of, I don't want to say TLC, but, you know, was going to need a little bit of work. I didn't feel like looking everything up. I wasn't sure if everything was toppered on like this wedding dress. So I just decided to list it as a lot and let someone else do the work. So I did put TLC in the title. And I ended up taking a best offer of 80. No, I'm sorry. It sold for my sale price, 35% off of 125. It sold for 81.25 plus shipping. And my cost of goods was a, a dollar. So that was incredible. These are vintage un unsigned stay tight class clip barrettes, faux tortoise. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, estate sale gave me a bag of vintage items this, these were in there with some goodies. I feel pretty confident these are goodie brand, but they were not signed goodie. And the goodie brand are typically signed. So I don't know if anybody knows anything about vintage barrettes, please let me know in the comments. Um, did maybe like some of them that came out a certain year, were they not marked goodie perhaps? I priced these on auction because they were unsigned. I started them at $49.99. They did sell for that. Um, I was hoping that maybe they were goodie brand and I was gonna, they were gonna get bid up, but um, I'll take the $40 on that. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, what happened here? 
says winning. Actually, somebody made me an offer of 40 and I went ahead and took that. I probably should have let the auction ride because I'm like, why doesn't that match up? So yeah, I probably should have let the auction ride, but that's okay. Moving on 40 bucks for some Brett's is fantastic. But I just want to know if anybody knows, are they actually goodie brand? And we'll talk more about those in this video or in a future video um, because I have sold others. This here. Okay. I love this one. This is a Disney Pixar cars. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It's a Halloween 3D, 3D costume. To my surprise, this is a harder to find item. I had offers on an auction immediately and I declined them because I had so many offers that I was just going to let the auction ride out. It ended up selling, I think, for $29.99 on auction. And I was a little bit bummed that there wasn't a bidding war with um, this one. So what I decided to do is... Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't pay. The buyer did not pay. First, they sent me a thing saying that they really didn't want to pay my price. And would I be willing to take this price? And it was less than my auction price. And I said no. So they ended up buying it at the $29.99, I think it was. And then they did not pay. So I relisted it at a buy it now of $60. With my sale price, it went down to $39 plus shipping. <clears throat> excuse me. And somebody ended up paying full price for that. So um, I probably should have just put it on a buy it now to begin with. So $39 plus shipping and Goodwill Benz is $1.85 or 89 at mine. So I probably had four bucks in this maybe. Planets vs. Zombies. This is a building toy set. And I made my husband put this one together for me. Um, and I do have a video showing how it works. So I figured um, I will earn a little bit of revenue on that video. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, guys. That is over on my reseller testing Bolo products. And what I do is I put a video in the description that shows how the item works. So garage sale, two bucks, took a best offer of 65 on that one. Vintage Halloween Lures, L-U-H-R-S, die cut. Um, uh, I think it's B-Style or B-Style also makes these, but this one was Vintage Lures. I got these at a, a thrift store and I was so excited to find these. They were in a bag and just sitting there. And I was like, are you kidding me? I ended up selling these for $44 plus shipping, probably had less than a buck in them. Okay, here is the fabric. We talked about this in one of my other videos. I auctioned the first lot for $99.99. .99. It was about the same size. It sold. I had another big piece around the same size. It sold for $99.99. .99. So I decided to throw this one up for $300 or best offer. Somebody offered me $150. I'm like, that's $50 more than I made on the other two. So I went ahead and took that. But um. Daisy Kingdom. I know about Daisy Kingdom because I did a video on vintage fabric. I don't sell a lot of fabric. I don't like to measure it. I usually bulk it up and sell it in uh, lots, which is what I have. I have a bunch of them listed right now in my eBay store. If you guys are looking for fabric, um, if you make me an offer, just put Bolo Buddies in the comment of the offer. And I'm happy to work with you on pricing for that. Um, they're more like smaller pieces for somebody who does like crafting and quilting and uh, stuff like that. Like I have some that are all hearts, which would be great for like uh, Valentine's day and stuff like that. The next item. Okay. $249 and 99 cents. I sold this little lady for, uh, she is an artisan dollhouse miniature. She is sticking out her tongue. She is incredible. And um, I actually ran an auction for $249.99 and the auction ended and somebody messaged me immediately saying, is this item still available? And I said, yes, I will relist it. So I relisted it and they ended up bidding immediately on the item. It went through another seven day auction and they won the auction and it sold for $249.99 plus shipping. Okay, so here are the goodie Bretts. These are actually signed goodie. Let me show you what I mean here. Do you see how it says goodie right here? That's what I was looking for in the other Bretts. It wasn't there. So I marked them unsigned. But again, is it just a situation where certain years they weren't signed? I don't know. If anybody knows, again, let me know in the comments. So these were all signed. So I put these together separately. Um, they ended up selling for full asking sale price of $81.25 plus shipping. I have sold these before. I know they are a big money bolo. The three inch stay tight goodie tortoise, faux tortoise look like this. If you find them, 
big money. Don't uh, don't sell yourself short and price them too low. They will sell for big money. Here are three more that were unsigned. These are a little more of a reddish tint. Uh, the outside too. The one in the middle is more brown, but they were unsigned. The same buyer bought these. Paid fifty eight fifty for those three. So uh, those all went to the same person. So I'm guessing these are probably Goody brand also, but they weren't signed. So I, I didn't want to represent them as Goody if they're not. So I just marked it unsigned. This I got at an estate uh, garage sale that was incredible. I will have a video in the future. Um, most of the items that I purchased there were crafters items, like beads and artsy stuff. Uh, just incredible find, like totes and totes that I took out of that place. Um, I am going to sell those items over on whatnot. I know I keep saying that, that I'm going to go on whatnot and I will eventually. I just, I just haven't. And I'm sorry. I, I, am one of those people where I try to give myself way too much to do. And right now whatnot's kind of on the back burner, but I'm going to do it. So there is a link down in the description. If you guys follow me on whatnot and you use that link to join, you can get $10 credit to shop. Um, you can use that on anyone's. It's a, just a credit. It doesn't have to be used in my auction. But yeah, those crafters items are going to be coming to whatnot. This was one of the items that I got there. I ended up selling this for $49.60 plus shipping. It's a vintage harmonica holer, holer, mela, mela, do, mela, I can't say that word. Melodica, maladaka. I don't know. M-E-L-O-D-I-C-A. I don't know what that means. But anyway, it's made in Germany. It's a really cool like instrument. And um, the buyer was all in for $62.97. So at this estate sale, I basically bundled everything. I was in the garage and they're like, do you want to come to the basement? I'm like, heck yeah, I want to come to the basement. And I cleaned up. I just made a huge pile and they charged me one price for everything. It was incredible. So looking forward to whatnot. All right. This item here is a music box and I got this out of a mystery box. Couldn't find any exact comparables. You uh, crank it up and it plays music. It's really awesome. It retailed originally for $6 and 95 cents. And I sold this for $55 and 80 cents plus shipping. Um, people sometimes ask, do you need to take this sticker off? No, you don't. Um, even if you price it high, it's a vintage, hard to find item. It's collectible. It doesn't matter what the original sold price was for that they bought it for because you can't get these items anymore. So you can sell them for a higher price, even with that sticker on there. So I would leave it um, because you don't want to compromise the item by damaging it when you take off the sticker. The next item is this cuff bracelet. It's a copper storyteller cuff bracelet. So anytime you see... Um, See how it's got like, uh, it's a story, basically. It's telling a story with the, the pictures. And storyteller is a great key word. I ended up getting this, um, I, selling this for $49.60 plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. The next item I got out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. I messaged her and I said, I am ready for a mystery box. I'll give you $150, make me a box. I want to do a video and I, um, I always get great stuff. So that is from auctions for you. I will link her YouTube channel down below. So the entire box was 150 free shipping. I sold this one item for $80 plus shipping. Now there is a lot of bread and butter in that box. Um, she knows that I like smalls. So there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I have not listed the whole box yet. Still working on it. But I have pretty much made more than half of my money back with one item. So really excited about that. This is Hawthorne Village Pirates of the Caribbean 2007. Um, they're little figurines, village figurines. This here came from an estate sale. It was in a bunch of clothes and I just thought it was incredible. So I priced it high. It is a vintage Katashkas uh, Unusuals Wrap Skirt Farm Animals. Let me see if I can find the tag here. This is what it looks like. And it's a size medium. Did I even put that in the title? I don't even think I put the size. How dare I? Yep, I put it down here. But I should have had it in the um, actual title. So anyway, I took a best offer of $80 on this little farmhouse print. Super cute. And the buyer was all in for $95.80. My cost of goods was, um, I, th I want to say this was in one of the free bags. But the majority of the items I donated. 
Vintage Wagner Ware Sydney Waffle Iron. Got this. I don't remember where I got this. I probably paid $10 or less for it. I have sold something similar to this in the past. I knew it was going to be a bolo. It sat in my garage probably for over a year because I don't like shipping things like this. They take a weird size box. They take a bunch of bubble wrap and it's just not my thing. But I finally convinced myself to list it and it sold really quick for um, $93 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1977 Rush belt. I don't know what was going on, but all of a sudden I was getting a bunch of offers on this belt buckle. It's probably been up. I, I think I got it over the summer. I mean, it hasn't been up super long. I've sold some of the other ones, but I hadn't had an offer on it for a while. And then all of a sudden I had like two or three. So I'm like, did is something going on here with Rush, the Rush band? Is Are they in the news? I, I don't know. But anyway, I ended up taking a best offer of $70 for this. I paid $1.75 at a garage sale. And here is a Hotel California buckle. I ended up selling this one for $81.25. Same garage sale. Uh, cost of goods around $1.75. And the buyer was all in for $93.62. So if you see these, this is what they look like on the back. Um, let me uh, zoom out here a little. They say Pacifica MFG, okay? And they're dated 1977. This one even had some like green stuff on it. Patina, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, these are definitely a bolo. So if you see them, definitely pick them up. I got, uh, I want to say six, seven of them. I don't know. It came to $1.75 each. And I think I paid $10 for all of them. So whatever that math is. But that was an incredible find. I found some really cool ones. I do have a Kiss Band one, which if it would not have been damaged, would have been huge money. But um, it does have a little damage. I'm waiting on that one to sell. But I think it'll still sell even with the damage for, I, I'm going to still consider it big money, but not huge money like it would have. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Let me know in the comments how you found the channel and leave me an emoji of an owl or just say hoot. Hoot. Uh, thanks for watching.